What's up guys, Chase with IW Hockey, hanging out with JD, Senior Brand Manager of Skates for Bauer Hockey, hanging out here in New Hampshire. We've got your new line of Vapor Skates in front of us. Before we start talking about all the great new tech and spec, how would you describe the fit profile of the entire line? Uh, very similar to previous years, uh, the Vapor line of skates is built on what we call low profile fit. So when you think about your ankle wrap, your heel depth, your instep, as well as your forefoot, it's a very low profile. I think one of the big differences though that you'll see this year is uh, we really designed and engineered this skate on what we call the quickness platform. So really catering to that player that's a little bit more east-west uh, style skater, so a very agility style player. Uh, we tried to engineer a lot of uh, performance benefits for the player into the skate line. So more like a Patrick Kane compared to an Eichel, correct? Yeah, Patrick Kane, uh, uh, David Pasternak, those type of players uh, versus like a Jack Eichel is a, is a perfect example. So. Well, let's hop into this 2X Pro. I mean, visually some really big updates, but internally, what can we see different this year? Yeah, so playing off that whole quickness platform and being really built for that agility player, uh, a couple different things that we've done. So we've gone to the 3D lasted curve, uh, carbon curve composite material, uh, which is gonna really thermal form and hug the foot, which is kind of the, the big thing that a lot of players have been looking for. Uh, one of the key engineering points though is going to be in the toe cap as well as in the facing area right in through the bottom portion here. These parts are actually engineered to be integrated together mm -hmm. and to provide more wrap and minimize the amount of volume in the, uh, in the toe cap area. So we built the toe cap off of 25,000 scans mm -hmm. of players' feet and then extended that all the way down throughout our line so that we minimize the amount of volume inside of the skate allowing for the player to have more effective push off on each and every stride. As you can see in the facing here, as the two kind of integrate together, mm -hmm. uh, you'll see a lot less overlap of materials, which is gonna allow for that, uh, that forefoot area to really hug the foot mm -hmm. and wrap over top of it as well. So giving you a lot more streamlined, better fitting performance in the long one, right? Ab absolutely, and if you think about like that front, front portion of your foot, think of it as a high performance steering wheel for your, for your car. It's the same kind of thing. We're trying to give you as much handling as possible. We really focused on that area uh, to help drive that uh, as part of the quickness platform. So as far as the interior goes, if you want to take that analogy, as far as the seating goes, the liner of the skate, what can we see different from last year's? So the actual liner itself is the, that same Lockfit Pro liner, which has uh, got a combination of grip materials as, as well as moisture management materials. So a good combination of performance uh, for that player and allowing for that, uh, for that liner to really hug the foot and, and seat it pr uh, correctly. What you don't see is kind of inside of the skate. So we're going to a new foam called the Aerofoam Pro, mm -hmm. uh, which is a little bit more of a spongier, a little bit more thermal forming uh, material, which uh, again, uh, enhances the fit and comfort of the skate uh, and closes in on a lot of the negative space inside of the skate. So you're gonna get that nice tight fit all the way throughout. Uh, one of the big keys is we brought a lot of that foam and we brought it all the way down throughout the entire quarter as well. So you're gonna get that nice, soft, comfortable fit and that uh, better performance all the way throughout the quarter as well. And so continuing with comfort, another big change in the tongue as well. So what was kind of the inspiration from going away from that uh, really unique composite tongue that we saw yeah, before? Yeah, so the, the, uh, the tongue that we used with the, with the Vapor 1X uh, had a lot of great thermal forming uh, materials and a lot of great protection. So we wanted to keep those aspects mm -hmm. in with our new Re Recoil Pro tongue. So what we've engineered is a dual density insert uh, so it, uh, what that allows it for is a little bit more of a lower profile fit, so it doesn't feel as bulky for the players, mm -hmm. but maintains all the same uh, protective properties that you would have had in the past, as well as the thermal formability. So when you think about thermal forming, you've got the foam, you've got the quarter material, you've got the tongue, everything kind of works as a 360 degree system to give you that nice perfect fit. Uh, but uh, without sacrificing protection and, and comfort as well. And you gotta have the fit and protection to have that high-end performance. And I know this is your elite top-end skate, but it looks like we get a lot of those technologies trickling down in the 2X. So what do we see here? Okay, so the 2X is driven off of, uh, again, a lot of pro inspiration. So you get a lot of value here. Uh, roughly around 40% of all NHL players still use a 3D lasted curve composite boot mm -hmm. with a standard eyelet construction. So if you look at that base model of the 2X and the base construction, you're getting exactly that uh, from a starting point. So a lot of value being driven uh, into this price point. The key differences here is, you know, in, in elements like the steel. So you go from the LS5 on the, on the, two, on the 2X Pro to the LS3, which is still a very high-end premium uh, price point, but doesn't have all the same performance characteristics that you might have uh, on the top end. 
You'll notice that we've also brought the uh, asymmetrical toe cap down to this price point mm -hmm. to again, uh, we know that the players that are shopping at this particular price point are really looking for enhanced performance, so we're trying to give them that less volume fit and more direct energy transfer in each and every stride uh, with, this, uh, with this particular uh, skate as well. So inside of the skate, we brought the, uh, that Aerofoam technology into the ankle pads as well as in the base of the liner as well. So uh, making it as thermoformable as possible, but really focusing on the comfort of the ankle as well as one of the key aspects. Now, one of the key aspects here is to differentiate it versus Supreme. So we talked about that east-west versus north-south skater. Mm -hmm. Here we're going with what we call a TPU outsole. So a TPU outsole makes the skate a little bit more torsionally, a little bit more forgiving, so mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more of a softer construction. So when you're taking those turns and those angles, uh, you're gonna be able to turn a little bit quicker uh, by having the skate be a little bit more forgiving as well. So strategically used to enhance that agility compared to that long stride, uh, right? Absolutely, 100%. And then, so if you're still looking for some high-end performance, but also some great out-of-the-box comfort, you're gonna probably look at the X 2.9. So how are you able to accomplish that at such a reasonable price point? Yep, so uh, one, of the, one of our key strategies was to take, a, again, a, a quarter material or a boot construction that's been used at the NHL level and bring it back down in, in a, into a key price point. So a 3D lasted, uh, a 3D lasted tech mesh quarter, which is still used by approximately 50 players at the NHL level, mm -hmm. is, one, is one of the key things that we brought down uh, to the X 2.9. So you're getting that high end pro feel right out of the box. Where we focused a lot more comfort was in, uh, kind of internally. So we brought, bring an aero foam down into this price point as well. Uh, but you'll see that the base foams are a lot more thicker, a lot more kind of plush, uh, plush material so that, you know, immediately as soon as you step inside of that skate, you definitely resonate a lot more comfort. The toe cap is more of a conventional toe cap. So mm -hmm. again, thinking about performance, kind of having a, 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 a unique weight between performance and comfort, mm -hmm. we went back to kind of that, that, that traditional uh, toe cap on this particular product as well. And so that was something I really noticed, not just on the X 2.9, but the 2.7, 2.5, just how thick those ankle foams are. So just to quickly overview, you know, what are a couple key specs that we find on those two opening price points? Yeah, so the 2.7 uh, is a new way of making a, a, a boot construction. So it's a, it's a 3D, uh, 3D molded uh, polycarb uh, construction. So that gives you a good balance between support Mm -hmm. but a lot more flex built into the skate. So again, if you think about that younger player, that seven, eight, nine, ten 10 year old who's still developing, mm -hmm. they need a skate that's a little bit more forgiving uh, and that they can flex a little bit easier. So that's one of the big things to be focused on is a new way of making skates mm -hmm. at those price points to allow for a lot more flex, but keep the support that they, that they require. Very similar to 2.9, when you look inside, you'll see a lot of foams, a lot of soft plush foams being mm -hmm. built into that skate so that it's, uh, again, uh, immediately comfortable as soon as you open up the box. And, you know, with the 2.5, it was basically a lot of the same thing there too. So we took that same construction, mm -hmm. made it a little bit softer uh, with some of the different reinforcements on the inside. So again, a little bit more flexible, but maintain the comfort all the way down throughout. So the big difference is, between the 2.7 and 2.5 is mm -hmm. gonna be in your holder. Mm -hmm. The holder on the 2.7 is that light speed edge, which is the number one holder being used at the NHL level. Mm -hmm. uh, you can quickly change it out. With the uh, 2.5, you've got the light speed pro, which is a non-serviceable uh, runner system. Right on, JD. Well, thanks for all the info and filling us in. And then for you guys at home that wanna check out more of these vapor skates, make sure you go to icewarehouse.com.